Hello everyone. So I hadn't been planned to I hadn't planned to visit the Dollar Tree on this route. It was a super quick hop in and out, see what they have. I did manage to find a couple goodies. Of course, when do we go into the Dollar Tree and not buy something? But um, I thought I'd share with you guys quickly what I did spot. They had a new line or end cap of uh, planner goodies and stuff like that. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoy this quick shop with me and then I look forward to sharing a haul with you guys very soon. I hope to have that filmed and then posted. So anyways, I hope you guys all had a wonderful weekend and I look forward to this week because it's our final week. Oh my goodness, before the long weekend and then back to school. But until the next video, everyone, I hope you enjoy this walkthrough. Bye for now. These cute little cups are still kicking around. Oh my goodness, a whole new wall, or end cap I should say, of stickers. These are like foam cutouts. Sorry. Look at all these binders. There were a few similar ones last year. They didn't have the same wording, but oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. These are great too for putting stickers in them. So if you have um, happy planner stickers, they fit perfectly in the length of these uh, little binders. You can set up your own little personal planner. So many fun little stickers and lists and all sorts of stuff that they have here. I'm just looking to see if there's anything new from last year, but looks like the same prints, I think, and styles. Just the wording on the front cover of the little binders is different. These are pretty perfect for having like in your kitchen as like a, just a planning or on the go kind of in your purse. They fit perfectly. They're not too bulky. And student planners. Although our school is very fortunate and the kids do get a student agenda. So I never have to find one of these things for the kids. I just kind of look for myself. Trying to come by the book aisle a little bit more often with some time just to go through them because there's some awesome books these days. Like look at this one here. It just kind of teaches you how to make a nature journal. It's got a full like how to use mediums and oh my goodness, this is amazing. Look at the ideas in here, like for DIYs even. Super, super great, cute. These little boxes be super cute if you just decoupaged a little bit of tissue. I'll link a card up above and show you how I did a, like a little shoe box transformation. These little boxes are awesome for storing little embellishments. I purchased some of these dry erase markers and they actually work really well. Oh my goodness, some more. Little terrariums. They're plastic, but they look like glass. Waterproof mascara. This is interesting. Has anyone tried this? Mariposa. And just black mascara. products are still available. I love these little blotting sheets. I put these in pocket letters on the back. They're just the cutest. So these are like index little um, note card index cards but already pre-hooped here. The little band. Those are great for students. These pencils are not very good for sharpening at school, just because they have like an outer plastic layer. This is great for slime making. If yours are into slime, this is a great value.
love these little um, pencil cases. This one matches some of the decor I've recently purchased. I've got, well, I'd say from my office at least. Super cute. They have like a little finish foil on the top. As you guys probably have heard me say a million times, I always look for the mini sheet protectors and I have not had any luck, even with the school supply stuff out. Just no luck finding it. These are in my um, parent binder for school. I'll actually link that up above on how I set that up. These are great. There's 10 little book rings. So if you're making even little flip books, very little clips here, all sorts of sizes. Wooden rulers. Haven't seen wooden rulers in a long time. Magnetic holders. Self-laminating sheets. These are great for acetate use. Like if you're making shaker pockets, then at least you can use some of the plastic from it. I'm going to take a look at these and see if it might work. I haven't opened those before. My stationary obsession is terrible, just the same as my craft stuff, but I really don't need any notebooks to write in, but these are absolutely very well done. And I am sure some people who are purchasing them will be very happy with their new notebooks, but super, super well done. Marge Simpson, who loved The Simpsons? I'm, I was a Simpsons fan back in the day, so it's kind of nostalgic to see these sitting here at the Dollar Tree. But that will wrap up, I think, here with some little end caps just before I check out. I cannot wait to share with you guys what I purchased. Until the next video, everyone, hope you all have a wonderful weekend and take care for now. Bye. Mm -hmm.